Hello guys, look at this controller. Three methods, index, view item and suggest, all checking something in the beginning. And that something is a private method, checking the config and returning 404 if it's false. When I saw this code while reviewing one project, I thought this is a candidate for refactoring because that can be done more elegant. And if your thinking is anything like mine, your word in your head is the same as middleware. So in this video, I will show you the successful refactoring of that. But also, I looked at the routes for that controller and also thought to refactor them in route group to make routes shorter. And that was not as successful as I expected. And I will show you that as well. Quick notice, after this video, I will take a quick break from YouTube. I will travel with my family to Egypt for 10 days or so. So my vacation was Laracon as always, but vacation with family is the seaside places. And I get back on February 26th, which is a few days after they release all the good stuff on February 24th with Laravel 12, Starter Kit, Cloud and others. So you can expect my first reviews or opinions at least a few days after the official launch. But for now, let's get back to refactoring this controller. So that function assert roadmap enabled, I would move that to middleware. So I run PHP Artisan make middleware and I called it roadmap enabled middleware, which is this. The same code just here and returning the next. What it allows us to do is remove those checks in the methods. So methods become much shorter like this and we don't need that method at all. So now as a result, we can see all three methods without even scrolling. And of course we can remove this line as well. So yeah, shorter, right? But now of course we need to assign that middleware to those routes. And for that, I will refactor that into a route group, which looks like this route middleware. And then we cut all of those and paste into that group function. And we assign the middleware roadmap enabled middleware class. We could of course assign the alias and register that in bootstrap app file, but we can also use the full middleware class. And now how do we test if we didn't break anything? Luckily that project that I was reviewing, which is sassy kit, one of the popular SaaS starter kits, which is not open source, but I got to its source to review it. So that project has tests. And one of the tests is this roadmap controller test, testing all those methods, including this specific case. So testing roadmap disabled. So to check whether I didn't break anything, I execute this in the terminal PHP artisan test for specifically that controller. And we see now in a few seconds, yeah, four methods passed. And as a proof that it actually works, let's change one of the route names, for example, suggesting and rerun the test. And one of them should totally fail or actually three failed roadmap suggest not defined. So yeah, let's get back. So the tests are actually working. And by the way, if you haven't started writing tests in Laravel or haven't done it a lot, I have a few courses on my Laravel daily. One of the most popular ones is testing in Laravel for beginners. So I will link that in the description below. So what we've done so far introduced route group, which is even better for readability of this part of the routes web and also made that controller much shorter. But then I decided to go one step further and make the code even shorter because I saw a few places that we can make even shorter. And let's see what happens. So look, those two methods are just returning the blade views. They don't do anything else. So instead of route get here, probably we can do route view, right? So we don't need that controller anymore. So we can do instead of this, we can do route view. And instead of controller with suggest method, we can just return the same name of the view roadmap suggest. And let's put that on the new line. Good. Not sure if it's much shorter because it's still on three lines, but perhaps better. And then we don't need that method at all. Same thing for index route view. And instead of that array, we assign the view of roadmap index with the name. Oh, sorry, like this. And then we don't need that at all. So that route group code is shorter now, right? Let's double check with the test. If we didn't break anything, nope, it's still passing. Great. And I thought I could do the same with this and then remove the controller maybe at all. But in this case, we have a parameter and I didn't find in Laravel docs, maybe I'm missing something, but you cannot pass the parameter, the variable to route view. So in the documentation of view routes, there is a parameter array, but this is not a variable. This is a static value. So yeah, in that case, I still go with route get 
But then the question is, if we have a controller with one method, maybe it should be the invocable controller and we don't need the method name here. So let's try to refactor that. So we change the name to invoke and then in here, we don't need that array, we just provide the controller like this. And let's put it on the new line. Let's rerun the test. Is it successful? Yep, everything's still good. But then probably in this case, the name of the controller also changes. It should be called like roadmap item controller or roadmap item show controller or something like that. So with this case, I've made the code shorter, but I'm not exactly sure I'm happy with this result. And then one more thing, I thought I could change the route names as well because they're all repeating roadmap.suggest, roadmap and roadmap view item. Shouldn't it be also as part of route group? And I tried it and let me show you. So let's put route group on new line and reformat it and add one more thing. So you can assign a name, which would be a prefix for the name, which is roadmap and we don't need middleware for now. And then in here, we can remove that roadmap and leave just the suggest, or in fact, dot suggest. Then in here, name should be empty. And then in here, name should be dot view item. So it's kind of refactoring for the prefix of the route name. And if we rerun automated tests, it should succeed because I didn't change anything, the route names, and the test actually is calling everything by route names, not by URLs, which is great. But looking at this final result, extracting of that prefix of the route name, I didn't really enjoy the final result. So we have name here, but also we still need to repeat name here three times. It's just a bit shorter horizontally, but then there's a weird dot here, which we cannot really put in here. That's one way how people do that. But then also this wouldn't match because it's roadmap without anything. So it's not containing the dot in the first place. And I didn't want to change route names from the originals. So yeah, in the end, I rolled it back. And kind of the final thing that I'm pretty happy about is this version of the code. So route group with middleware with route views whenever possible, and maybe debatable invocable controller instead of specific method. What do you guys think? Is this code better? What would you do differently? Or maybe you disagree with some of my suggestions. As usual, let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.